guys if you're wondering whether the fujifilm xh1 is a worthy consideration for your purchase in 2023 look no further than this video this is straight out of the camera i'm not gonna touch anything I'm not even gonna touch the highlights or the shadows or the contrast nothing this is straight 4k dci straight out of the camera we got cinematic aspect ratio great colors and yeah just great hardware as well you know the fujifilm can shoot super clean without almost no more or uh, those artifacts and lines that plague a lot of digital cinema cameras out there fujifilm xh1 gives you some clean footage super sharp i even toned down the sharpness to minus four and it's still a little bit too sharp for my taste but we can soften that up in post but i'm not gonna do that this is all straight out of camera audio as well is i'm just using a cheapo condenser mic it just plugs in directly into the xh1 and that's it everything is pure raw and i just want to show you why fujifilm xh1 is still a great buy in 2023 and up next i'm going to give you the second reason why the fujifilm xh1 is a worthy consideration an awesome option in 2023 is because the steels are also amazing straight out of camera and let me just show you a few of them stills that you just saw were jpegs straight out of the camera now i do shoot with dual raw and jpeg as well just in case something didn't came out right you know in my camera settings and i'll have to tweak later in post i do also have the raw option as a backup which is crazy to say that raw is the backup option to jpeg should be the other way around but the jpegs here are just so nice that it, I just use them straight out of camera. I just import them into my library and catalog the library and export, upload easily to Instagram and whatnot. And that's it. We save so much time shooting with a camera such as the Fujifilm X-H1 that just gives this great product straight out of the camera. Trust me, saving the editing hassle is it's such a big thing when you're a busy person when you're juggling work as well as well as voluntary work and at the same time i'm trying to do this youtube thing on the side and it's just i don't have a lot of time to edit now i do fiddle around a lot as you can see mainly my channel is all about the canon usm but this is not a, a straight out of camera camera it requires a lot of post edit and uh, yeah it been recently i have been simplifying my workflow with the eos m in there in my channel is stick around subscribe so you could see when the video does come out but i do have a longer version on see i gotta work guys like i was saying um this camera requires a little bit of editing work in post and i don't mind it because i do love working with raw video it's amazing what you could the flexibility you get in post but still the convenience of just trimming this video up and just exporting as it is and uploading to youtube it's pretty wild so guys if you approve of this message smash that like button like and subscribe for future contents you know in my channel it's all about making the best of what you got for cheap or better yet free so if you're into things like that then consider subscribing for future videos and i hope to see you in one of those future videos very soon
So you all have a good one. Happy shootings.